Hi, welcome to our video series Tips and Tricks. Today's tip and trick is teaching a collar command. Now I teach all my dogs collar commands. I think they're e essential to do right at the very start, okay? You want, you don't want conflict on, on a collar or with a leash. So everything you can do to ensure that is really important. And it also saves trying to chase a dog around or fighting with a dog that doesn't want a collar on. Teach them to get it on, teach them that it's fun and a great thing to do and they'll come for their collars every single time. Now, again I'll use a slip lead. It's the only thing I'll use to teach a dog this. All right, I'll teach them on a slip lead because I can get their head through it very easy. It's very simple. The dogs, you know, don't have any real issues with them. So the training happens very quickly. Down the line, when you decide to put other collars on, the dog doesn't care. It understands a collar command. All right, so Akuma, to me, up. I use Akuma for this one. Good. And again, you can see we've we'll, we'll put him on the platform. We've spoken about platform, we've spoken about stack training and the reasons why, and all these things are already starting to happen, the expected behaviors. So we're here to teach a collar command, but there's a whole bunch of other things happening. All right, so. All I do is open this right up and I use a treat and I just lure him through it. Yes. And I get a nice little bit of stretch with the neck. Yes, good boy. Good. And one of the things I like to do, if you just reach for a dog, and a lot of people complain, they reach for a dog and they go to grab the collar and the dog bites them. One, because there's sudden movement. Dogs don't instinctively like you coming over the top of them or at their head. So it's that initial movement all right, if it's fast or anything like that, you enact prey drive and the dog chases and it, it mouse you. It's, it's what they do. The other thing is, if you're coming over or near their head, the dog might get anxious or fearful, so it then may nip to try and say, you know, get away. All right, so you teach the command, the collar command on, teach it off. Here's the distraction, the lure, collar, the command so he knows that's what I'm coming for and it comes off so he learns from day one getting a collar off is nice and gentle nice and fun and he gets treated there's nothing bad about it and that's what's really important collar good so he basically puts the collar on himself good boy yes and it can be done up and everything bang it's there it's it's on good all right and, and you just use the distraction to get it off. Now, one of the things I should say is when you're teaching this, have two collars on. So the second one just dangles there and you step on it. So you've got control of the dog because you're going to be taking this one on and off and you don't want him pissing off because then you lose. He gets self-reward from it and then you've got this thing of trying to lure him or trying to chase him. It's a no-win situation. Always set your dog up to succeed. So it's really important. Have two of these suckers. Have one on, so when I take this one off, he doesn't go. All right, so that's really, really important. And again, we're getting focus and everything else here as well. All right, so we distract, collar, we lure him out, good boy. If he gets pushy with this, we give correction sounds and we're teaching all these things. Bite inhibition, leave it gentle. All right, the collar goes on, yes. Now, remember, we'd have the second one on and we'd be stepping on it. Collar goes on. Now, if I want to take it off, collar. Good. I distract. I give the command, collar. And I slowly reach and take the collar. Good boy, yes. And so I make it all about fun. So it goes on. Collar. Yes. Good boy. Good collar. Yes. Akuma, collar, good, good collar, and it comes off, all right, good boy, and you just keep that going, and using the slip lead means you have no conflict, you're not fumbling around, you're not catching fur, anything else, you're not constraining the dog, it's non-restrictive, it's non-combative, um, there's no conflict to it, so it makes it very easy. Teaching a dog a collar command also means that you have a calm dog when it goes to a collar. Teach them to come to the front 
an auto stay and a collar command and it's all there in one package for you. Hope that helps. We'll see you in the next one.